Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Carrie, and this is Carrie's Priceless WW Journey. So last week I brought you combined grocery haul and mini meal prep. This week, because we were actually at home all weekend, I decided to split that into two videos. Um, so today I'll be bringing you grocery haul and meal plan, and then tomorrow on Sunday will be meal prep. My little mini mini prep is what I call what I do. So let's get right into the grocery haul. I actually went to three different places. So I did grocery pickup at Walmart. So we'll just start with that. Um, same thing we talked about this last week. The Minute Maid Just 15 Calorie Lemonade that my husband likes to put in his water is one point for eight ounces. So we needed some more of that. Got this Uncle Ben's Ready Rice, the Spanish rice. And this is six points for one cup. Yeah, it's a little bit high, but it's just convenient. And we're doing um, portobello fajitas on Monday night. And so I thought the rice would be a good complement with that. I got some fajita mix for the portobello fajitas that I'm going to do. I got some of the Tostitos Cantina chips. These are five points for seven chips. Probably if I have any, I'll only have that. may not even have that. I just got them from my husband mainly. Um, two packages of 96% lean ground beef for a couple of the recipes this week. Um, light sour cream is two points for two tablespoons. The low fat cottage cheese is two points for a half cup. I like to take that for my lunch. Um, some pico for the fajitas, zero points. Light cream cheese, because what WW person <laughs> doesn't have light string cheese on hand. One point for one stick. Eggs, of course, for zero points. I'm going to be making breakfast uh, bowls for my husband's breakfast this week. And so my husband particularly is a snacker. I'm less of a snacker than I used to be. I used to be a really bad snacker, but there's always going to be poppables and things like that in our house. Um, the sea salt are five for 30 and the honey barbecue, which are super yummy, are five for 28. And I always weigh them out in ounces and don't count off the pieces. So that would be, or in grams. So that's 28 grams. Cause I feel like sometimes you get more by weighing it out than if you just count off the pieces. That's just me. Um, some strawberry sugar-free jello, zero points. And then the chocolate vanilla swirl jello, I like to have that. And that's two points per cup. Some shredded lettuce for fajitas. Fat free mozzarella, this is gonna be, I'm gonna do stromboli um, one night this week. So zero points for a quarter cup. Got some Roma tomatoes. Shredded hash browns, these are gonna be for my husband's breakfast bowl. But you can have one cup of these for two points. So they're really good value for your points, I feel like. And then I did just another, I'm all about convenience. So this is just three blend pepper and onion frozen. And I'm gonna use that for, um, for the fajitas. And then, oh, I can't reach. <coughs> Got these Mission Carb Balance flour tortillas, and these are just one for one point. I didn't look to see if they're the funky math where they're three for two. I didn't look that up. So if I think about it, I'll look it up and just add in a little um, clip here to, to let y'all know if they do bump like that. Um, but I got these for the fajitas. And I think that's everything from Walmart. My Walmart grocery order this week was $71.42. It was a pretty small order. Um, for me. Then I went to Aldi <clears throat> and I, pro I wasn't like fully prepared to go into Aldi. Um, my daughter and I had been working out this morning and just decided we'd swing by Aldi. And so I just was trying to think of a couple of things I needed from there. Um, so I got some salad mix and some spinach. I like to mix the two together. Some uh, peppers. I need those for his breakfast bowls. And I may add some to that blend. And then some of these little mini peppers. These are super good just to have to like 
dip in your ranch dip, or I even like to cut them open and put in the Laughing Cow Swiss cheese in them. That's really good just for a snack because they're really sweet. They're not hot. If you're worried that these are going to be these little mini peppers, when you see these, that they're hot, they don't have any heat to them. They're a sweet pepper, but they're really, really tasty. And then because of Fit Frugal Ash, I had to get the White Cheddar Puffs. So she talks about these every week, and if you don't follow her, you really should. She is um, at Fit Frugal Ash on both YouTube and Instagram, but she has really great content. She's super funny. I really enjoy her channel. So um, I had to get the White Cheddar Puffs. These are four points for two cups of the White Cheddar Puffs. And then I got some strawberries, some of the roasted garlic hummus, this is two points for two tablespoons. I love to have this with just veggies, with carrots, with the sweet peppers, um, with my pretzels. And then um, I hear everybody talking about this and I've never tried it. It's the Casa Mama Mita Salsa Con Queso from Aldi. And it's just two points for two tablespoons. I know Christy at Planning Us Healthy is addicted to this. I'm pretty sure Joan at Joan's Point of Plate loves this yellow cheese. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to give this a try. We can use it with our fajitas Monday night or um, maybe with some pretzels as a snack or whatever. So I got that. So Aldi, I only spent $19. So that was a really small, small order at Aldi. Then um, we went over to the Sprout Market. Um, Hannah is here with me today and we're going to be bringing you a fun little surprise, a little sweet treat later in the day. And so we needed a couple of things for that that I knew I probably could get at Sprouts. Um, and so we got some of the Lacanto, I think is how it said, um, some of the powdered monk fruit sweetener, and also some of the brown sweetener, um, some non-fat Greek yogurt, of course. I got these giant portobello mushrooms. I don't know if you can see or not, they're huge. But these are what I'm gonna be using for the fajitas on Monday night. Some pop chips, they had buy one, get one free. And these are four points for 20. And some unsweetened almond milk, baby carrots, and some grapes. So, and I spent $42 at Sprouts. So I spent a combined total of $133 this week on my groceries and um, this will get us through the week and so I will sit down with you here in just a minute and go over my meal plan for the week. Okay so I'm a pretty simplistic planner when it comes to planning out my weeks. I think I mentioned last week, I don't really do a lot of prep for my own lunches. Um, most of the prepping, actual meal prepping that I do is for my husband for breakfast and lunch. Um, I do try to have just some things um, maybe portioned out or um, different things like that for my lunches, but I don't really, I kind of decide from day to day what I even want to have for lunch. That's just how... I function um, but everybody's different so that's just what I do I just I always make up some hard-boiled eggs I almost always have some chicken tenders that I've thrown in the air fryer um, chicken salad and tuna salad are my go-to so I've always got bread um, I also like to just throw together some turkey and cheese and crackers and um, have a little smorgasbord so I don't really plan for my lunches, but I do plan for our dinners for the week. Um, and I got this really cute little planner. It just says make a plan. It's just a little spiral notebook. And I actually got it in one of the dollar bins at Target. Um, I don't know if they still have them or not, but it was just $3. Um, and it has like notes and then Monday through Sunday. So, I'm going to insert a picture of my plan for the week, but I thought I would just talk about it. So for my husband, um, for breakfast and lunch this week, I'm going to be making him breakfast bowls. And those are going to consist of just scrambled eggs with some veggies, 
and then some of the shredded hash browns and a little cheese. Um, and he really likes that, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for his breakfasts. Um, for his lunches, I'm gonna be making meatballs, which we call stuffed peppers, but he doesn't like it stuffed into a pepper. <laughs> so it's really just stuffed pepper filling, but made into a meatball. So I'm gonna be doing that, and he's gonna have that with mashed potatoes and a vegetable, and that'll be his lunches. Um, for three of the days and then one day he'll have leftovers. Um, Monday night for dinner, I'm making portobello fajitas and those are actually going to be, that's going to be a cook with me that's a collab that I was invited to be a part of with Denise at Dish with D. And it is a meatless Monday collab that I believe comes out um, on the 17th or 18th. I can't maybe on the 17th. I don't remember the exact date. I'll try to look at my calendar and see um, what the date is that that comes out, but I'll be filming that. So portobello fajitas, so I'm excited about that. Something, we love portobello mushrooms and they're just very meaty. And so I think that's gonna be a really fun meal. Tuesday night, we're making two ingredient dough stromboli. Um, on Wednesday night, we're having Joan's Pointed Plate we're having her taco pie, and I call it the JPP taco pie, and it is so good. Y'all, if you have not checked out recipes at Jones Pointed Plate, it's a must. Go to her website, go through her recipes. They are all family friendly, just home cooking, really flavorful meals. I've made many of her recipes, and they are some of my favorites, so be sure and check her out. Um, so we're having that Wednesday night and then Thursday night I'm doing like a baked ziti. I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to do that. I have zero point marinara. Um, I got some pina pasta and I don't know if I'm going to put like hamburger meat in it or if I'm going to do some of the turkey pepperonis. I don't really know exactly. I'm just going to play around with that one. And then um, Friday night we tend to go out on friday nights usually by the end of the week i'm just done <laughs> so we tend to go out on friday nights um you all have seen a couple of my friday night um full day of eating videos and we have a favorite mexican restaurant we always get the chicken fajitas and we share those and so that's just it's it's not a super high point meal um but it's nice to just not have to be in the kitchen so we will do something like that on Friday night. And then I do not plan for the weekends. I never know for sure what's going to be going on. Um, lately, we haven't been home a lot on the weekends because we've been out of town with our new grandbaby. And so um, I don't plan for the weekends. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants on the weekends. I always stay in my points, I'm not going off the rail on the weekends or anything like that. I just don't plan out what we're going to be eating. So, um, so that's what I do. And I think that pretty much wraps up my week. I will be bringing you all, I mentioned earlier that I will do my little mini meal prep and Scott's meals. And I'll give you all points on those um, because they're Weight Watcher friendly meals. I just particularly, don't like to eat the same thing every day and I'm not a huge fan of reheated meals. So it just, uh, he is perfectly fine with it and I'm perfectly happy to prepare his meals for him on Sunday. So it just works out good for us, but it's just not, I don't do it for myself. So just to kind of clarify that. And um, so I think that pretty much covers it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure and like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload new content. I'll see you next time.